you do to your head? My head? Oh, oh, listen, Marty. The other day, I was standing on my toilet, and I was screwing in a light bulb. And then I fell, I hit my head on the toilet, and it came to me. The flux capacitor. No, no, the establishment of biblical authority, you see. You the scriptures. You open it up, and then when you open it up, you put your finger down. Listen to this verse. It says, in humility, receive the word implanted, which is able to save your souls. That's far out. It's right here. But listen, I made it more convenient for you. I put it all on CD. Of course, I lost the hearing in my left ear. I was electrocuted several times and in and out of consciousness, but never mind. Anyways, I got it all on CD. Now listen, you take the CD, you slide it into the time machine. You, you create a time machine? Never mind that, never mind that. You put it in the time machine, you punch in the correct coordinates, and it will take you back to biblical times. Let me show you how it works. Where's that chalk? Come on! Help me with Marty! Where's the chalk? Here, listen. The year 2005 is where we are. We will take the time machine. We will go back to the year 65 AD. At that time, Paul was in prison. We will go back and we will observe his works. We will see the letters that he wrote, who he talked to, who he communicated with. Then, see how he stayed sane. And we will come back to the year 2005. Now listen, Marty, it's very, very important that you listen to me. Do not interact with Paul or anyone else in the biblical times, because if you do, it could skew the time-space continuum and ruin... Doc, this, this is heavy. Wait, it has nothing to do with it. Listen, I'm going to take you... How far are you going? Two or three thousand years. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Do you understand the Bible? Something burning, Doc? Ha <laughs> ha